Everyone, it's Brad from Passion, excited for today's verse of the day, which is Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it and it will be yours. Now, Jesus said this statement to the disciples on Tuesday of Holy Week. They were on their way to Jerusalem and the context for us is very important. They stopped by a fig tree and the disciples noticed it had withered at its roots. But they also remembered that the day before Jesus had cursed that very fig tree and said, may it never bear fruit again. And now they're saying to Jesus, how did this happen? Look, what you said came to pass. And then Jesus makes an interesting turn and starts teaching about prayer. And as I'm reading, I'm like, why? Well, what he's trying to tell his disciples then, and he's trying to tell us today, is the same power that made that happen is available to you and me through prayer. Just like that, Jesus can change anything and anyone. And that's what prayer is all about. God wants to give you and me everything we need to live the life he has called us to live. So he wants us to ask him, not for what we want, but what for what we need so we can accomplish his purpose for our life. And let's believe, not just in our ability. We don't need to believe in our ability. We need to believe in God's ability, that the resources of heaven are available to us, that our Father, he's not empty-handed. He wants to give us blessing upon blessing for his glory and his power to be at work in and through our lives. So church, as we approach Easter, as it's coming close, let's be a, let's be a praying church, a believing church, a church that asks for God to move in and through us for his glory. Let's ask for people to get saved. Let's ask for people to show up at church. Let's ask for relationships and friendships and marriages to be restored. Let's ask for healing to be at work, but let's ask for God to be glorified and his power to be on the move through his church around the world. In Jesus' name, amen.